I'm out here collecting these like infinity stones. Girl. And the feeling is still mutual. Hard to get, and she was. This right here? Mm. She's everything. What's up you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a perfume haul. I know this is long awaited. I know I was talking about it in my birthday haul and I actually was planning on scrapping the video altogether and just entering the ones that I did buy in a vlog. However, since filming that birthday haul, I have accumulated like three or four more perfumes. So I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I got. But before I do, most of these perfumes are going to be available through Amazon to purchase. And I am excited to announce that I just became an Amazon Amazon influencer. I'm super, super excited. I got approved for the program a couple of weeks ago. I am planning on filming an Amazon favorites video because I know that Prime Day is coming up and I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I love from Amazon. You guys know I moved into this apartment and documented the whole process and a lot of the things that I bought in this apartment are from Amazon. Also just everyday life. The tripod that I'm filming on right now is literally from Amazon. So excited that I got approved for this partnership. I'm so excited that now you guys can finally shop through my links everything that you love. I have had so many people tell me that they bought things specifically because I recommended them and they trust me and I love you guys for that. So I'm going to be linking my Amazon storefront down below and I will also be showing you guys every single perfume that I included in this haul that I like. Let's get started. Between TikTok shop, YouTube recommendations and just my utter desire to spend my money. I've accumulated nine perfumes. I will say that like three of these are definitely summer scents and two of them were blind buys that I'm actually going to be decluttering. Starting off strong, this is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid. I think this is a flanker of like four or five in this collection. This is one of my favorites in this haul. Also, if you guys can see the tail, it's lucky. I got it in the full size 3.3 fluid ounces because I loved it that much. I originally got like the 1.8 fluid ounce of this and also her, my Burberry, and I returned both of those to get this one. This is probably top three vanilla scents in my entire collection. I love a sweet vanilla scent. Not necessarily all the way gourmand, but it's pushing the envelope. So I always have a tendency to gravitate towards vanilla scents, but this one right here, the sales rep actually showed me, and I'm usually not a fan of sales recommendations. I really just like to mind my own in the store, but y'all, this right here, mm, thank you girl for recommending. I could not have been happier that she showed me this because I would have never been gravitated towards this simply because of the bottle. It's kind of like just there in comparison to a lot of the other ornate bottles that I will show you guys in this video. I probably would have never went towards this had the sales rep not come up to me and tell me to smell it. So thank you so much, girl. I actually looked up all of the scent profiles for you guys on Fragrantica once again. So I will be telling you guys all of the scent profiles of each perfume and then what I personally think of it. Honestly, this one is just giving vanilla fairy goddess, y'all. There is orchid in this. I have never had an orchid scent in my life, but this one she's giving. Fragrantica has vanilla, ozonic, floral, powdery, and sweet accords. I don't know what ozonic means, but I think it's in another one of my perfumes as well, so I probably should look that up right. It says that ozonic scents are pertaining to the ozone, oceanic, aromatic, fresh, clean, airy. Okay, I could definitely see that in this. Um, it's definitely like an undertone. The main one is definitely giving like vanilla screaming in your face. According to Fragrantica, the top note is vanilla, the middle note is vanilla orchid, and the base note is ozonic notes. I definitely agree. The next perfumes, y'all. I'm out here collecting these like infinity stones. I saw an Instagram post that was saying that these are basically like collecting infinity stones and I could not agree more. First of all, if you guys saw my birthday haul, you would know that I got the minis of these two. This is NDA and I am her from the Forever Mood launch, okay? I didn't even know that she had a full-size perfume collection out. And as soon as I found out on my birthday, it was sold out. So I was waiting for it to restock and boy, did it. I haven't been this nervous to purchase something on launch day since I used to get makeup by the dozen, y'all. I And if you have been following me for a minute, you would know that I literally was up at makeup releases like my life depended on it. That's how I felt about these. They were selling out so fast. She dropped them at like 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And y'all, what the... What is going on with y'all? I'm just glad I can get my hands on two of them. By the time I purchased, and I think it dropped at 12 a.m., I woke up around like 3 a.m., gone. This one was the first to go, so let's start with her. This was hard to get, and she was. I did 
find these scent profiles on Fragrantica as well, but you can also find this on their Forever Mood website and Sephora website. It says that Hard to Get has made a quartz of citrus, vanilla, white floral, powdery, sweet, and fresh. And then the notes are citron, vanilla, and jasmine. I can definitely smell the citron and the vanilla and like hint, hint of jasmine in there. Again, another vanilla scent, y'all know me. This is one of the most unique vanilla scents that I have. This is just, it's definitely giving floral again. What is going on with me, you guys? But it's more of like a, like a, I don't know, light, airy floral. The Gorgeous Orchid is definitely more of like a cozy floral, I would say. This one is giving light, airy, and flowy. I love it, and it wears down so well. I've worn it a couple times to work. And the packaging is so, so cute. All of them look like this. These little, they are basically infinity stones. So this is what hard to get looks like. And then I told you guys in my birthday video that I was fiending to get these two full size, and I did. The first one I'm gonna pull out is NDA. She is, ooh, this is actually one of my favorite ones, and it's the first one that I wore out of the collection. This is what she looks like. She is a purple infinity stone and this just, it's, I don't even know, grown sexy. You could wear it during the day, but it would definitely pop during the nighttime. And I'm gonna read you guys exactly what the scent profile is. It says that NDA has made a quartz of sweet vanilla, rum, amber, tobacco, warm, spicy, aromatic, and woody. I definitely get the sweet and the woody. The rum and tobacco are normally scents that I steer away from, but in this one, I don't know how she did it, but she, she, she did her big one on this. And it says that the notes are tonka bean, rum, and tobacco. I don't have a lot of fragrances with tonka bean in it, I don't think. So I'm not really keen to like memorize the scent profile of tonka bean, but I'm learning that I like it. This is definitely giving like first date vibes. It's just, she's everything. And the last one, the first one that I smelled in the store actually is I Am Her. And this is like a very sweet and powdery if I had to describe it. She is the pink infinity stone and it's definitely a scent that I would wear in the colder months. I feel like if I wore this and I was sweating, I probably wouldn't like that vibe. There's also another fragrance that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute that is also one of those. The projection on it starts to get sour and I feel like this is one of those where I would solely wear this in the colder months. So now that it's October, I would definitely pick this up. Also, this is another great date night scent. Just any time where it's nighttime, you're not gonna be overexerting yourself. The I Am Her Forever Mood has made a chorus of Oud, which also I have not really known the scent profile of Oud, but she did it, girl. This is not my favorite out of her collection, which is crazy because on the dry down, I definitely thought that it would be, but I definitely prefer NDA. I feel like Oud is one of those like acquired tastes. And I do know a lot of Arabian perfumes have Oud in them as well. So I definitely will have to start buying a couple more of those to figure out if I like it or not. I know that they're like known for Oudy scents. So I definitely need to try it from the best, but this is definitely a scent that I would consider doing Oud very well. And it's a top note. The bottom notes are fruity, sweet, aquatic, I don't know about aquatic. I'm not getting the aquatic vibe. Fresh and musky. Fruity, sweet, and musky, definitely. Aquatic and fresh is kind of throwing me off on Fragrantica, but it says that the notes are pear, oud, and velvet, and I would 100% agree. This definitely gives a strong but soft scent. I honestly don't even know how to describe it, but nevertheless, I'm glad I picked it up because y'all were fiending for these full sizes and I needed to snag mine. I bought this from TikTok, literally some random woman that I don't even know. I just trusted her opinion, and that is this one. And I was not wrong to trust her because this right here, very, very good. This is called Club de Nui. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is the woman version, and this is by the brand Armath. Arm off. This girl, I have worn this several times throughout the summertime. Now, this is one of those scents that goes good with sweat. This is just Oh, let me read the notes. Let me read the notes. The notes on this are citrus, which is probably why it goes really well with sweat. Patchouli, woody, but the woody is not too crazy. Rose, fresh, spicy, aromatic, earthy, powdery, vanilla, and warm, spicy. Those are all of the main accords of this one. And the top notes are listed as orange, bergamot, grapefruit, and peach. The middle notes are rose, jasmine, lychee, and geranium. I've never heard of that. And the base notes are patchouli, musk, vanilla and vetiver. I have learned that I really enjoy vetiver scents. I do it a lot in like my home scents, so candles, hand soap, things like that, but I've never had it in a perfume until now. Oh my, it's like the perfect mix of strong like date night, but it's light enough to wear all day round. It is strong. Don't get it twisted with the cute pink bottle, okay? All you need is like three sprays. 
and I'm not playing. Do you guys see the little dent that I made in this? Honestly, one of the first ones that I bought, but it is the one that I have continued to use. This is a very, very good scent. This is like an everyday scent. You could wear it during the winter, spring, fall. It does not matter. And it wasn't even that expensive. I think it was around like 40 bucks maybe. If you guys saw my last perfume haul, you know I had a lot of Arabic perfumes. And the feeling is still mutual, okay? The first one, first of all, the packaging is everything. This is Eclair by Latafa. Y'all know how I feel about Latafa. I have another Latafa perfume here to show you. They honestly literally never disappoint. I haven't gotten a Latafa perfume yet that I'm like, mm, don't like it. This, this is a vanilla creamy dream. First of all, look at the bottle. This is said to be a dupe of Bianco Latte. Honestly, I've never smelled Bianco Latte before and I did not even know it existed until I bought this perfume. So I don't have any comparison to tell you whether or not this is a perfect dupe of it or not, but I have watched a lot of YouTube videos and they have said that it comes very, very close. Regardless of whether it's a dupe or not, I would consider it a perfume to get even if you're just getting it solely based off of the notes. The notes are listed as sweet lactonic, which is like milky, vanilla, caramel, and honey. Vanilla, caramel, and milk is definitely what I smell in this. This is like the sweetest vanilla scent that I own. The top notes are listed as milk, caramel, and sugar. Middle are honey and white flowers. And the base is vanilla, praline, and musk. And without hesitation is definitely one that I would pick up if you are a gourmand lover for sure. But even if you're not, if you're on the border like me, it's definitely on the sweeter side, but it's definitely something that I would wear. Next up, we have the end of the summer scent. So this is another Latafa perfume. This is the orange Yara, okay? I think it's called Yara E2 or Yara 2 is like a very tropical you're on the beach this smells so good I don't even know how to describe it and the wear down on this like after a couple of hours it's still stuck on your clothes and it smells so good the notes in this one are tropical sweet vanilla fruity white floral powdery coconut my girl coconut musky woody and lactonic i definitely don't get the lactonic vibe out of this that's like the last note that i get tropical and fruity right off the bat and then i get a tiny bit of coconut and for a coconut lover i've had my friend come up to me and say i definitely smell the coconut but i don't really smell it that much so i guess it just depends on your nose and scent profile that you are picking up definitely get it towards the end of the scent's life but definitely not on the pickup. But my friend picked it up as soon as I sprayed it on my body. So I guess it just depends on how you're smelling things. But regardless, this is undeniably good. This is definitely a summer scent that I will pick up now or even for next year. I, y'all know me, I love to get things when I feel like they're gonna sell out. Last year, I did Casablanca in my perfume haul and I literally had two extra boxes because I was scared those was gonna sell out this year. And now I'm fully stocked for this fall season. So if you want it, definitely go get it now, especially because it's so inexpensive. In a perfume world that things are costing 80 and 90 and $100, this is definitely a steal. And now for the last two, you guys, these two I'm actually planning on decluttering out of my collection the first one I actually wore on my birthday it is this one it's called now women by the brand rave y'all I was so excited because I saw this in a TikTok. People were reviewing it and they were saying it smells so good. It's so sweet and marshmallowy I love it and I do love sweet scents from time to time I was so excited to pick it up but y'all this smells <laughs> Like even smelling it out the bottle right now, the it's like, you know when you drink something and it's, it tastes good off the bat, but then afterwards it has a disgusting aftertaste. That's the vibe that I get from this. And I'm so sorry if you love this, I'm sure it works great with your body chemistry, but it was not, it was not messing with mine, okay? This, <laughs> I'm gonna read the notes. And this is what I mean by things that are too sweet. Sometimes they go sour. That Latafa Eclair was definitely one that passed the test, but this one, she went sour, y'all. The main accords on this are sweet, powdery, fruity, vanilla, white floral, fresh, citrus, musky, and mossy. It's gotta be the moss. <laughs> this goes so sour. I don't know how to explain it. And I really wanted to like it because the notes are red fruits, orange, marshmallow, lily of the valley, jasmine, vanilla, musk, and moss. The moss is doing it for me, y'all. I don't know why they put moss in this. If they took it out, I'm willing to bet that I would love it, but I gotta get rid of it. I just, I can't smell like this. The last one that I'm gonna be decluttering, you guys, is this one. I'm so sad because I actually got this recommendation from Lavishly Chi Chi. I really love her recommendations. Um, 
but this this one is called Kair fusion by Paris corner the bottle is so gorgeous it's listed as fruity fresh tropical powdery sweet floral woody and musky i don't know where we're going wrong with this i think it's just my chemistry but honestly think of like stale fruit snacks <laughs> That's what this is giving on me, okay? I really wanna know if you guys have this and it smells good on you. I don't know what it is. It smells like inauthentic fruit. Like I know obviously it's not real fruit that's inside of these bottles and I have other bottles that are fruity, floral. Even in my last perfume haul about a year ago, I'm pretty sure there are other floral things in there. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm sure it's gonna smell good on somebody else because I'm going to try to give it to one of my friends or family because I just can't rock with it, y'all. But that is it for my perfume haul, you guys. I'm so happy that I finally got to film this for you let me know what you think of my perfumes and i have been seeing all over tiktok and youtube that people have been blind buying more and more perfumes specifically arabic perfumes i know latafa just came out with a new release like i can't keep up with the perfume girlies i have been hoarding these all summer just to show you guys um and i will probably be buying more and maybe doing a little bit of declutter of my own collection because there's a lot that i don't necessarily like anymore and could use another home. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you guys want to purchase any of these perfumes, aside from the three Forever Mood ones, make sure to go on my Amazon storefront that I'm super excited about. Link is in the description for all the perfumes that I mentioned in this video that are available on Amazon. And if you love them, let me know. I know a lot of you guys have been saying for years now that you have been purchasing things because I recommended them. And I'm so excited that I finally have an outlet to tell you guys everything that I love now in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys would would like definitely click the link down below if you do not own any of these perfumes but would love to try them and let me know how you like them down below or in my instagram dms they are always open at Brittany joanne i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye